we're building underwater houses so that we can save Mikey and JJ's family. Will we be able to save them from this underwater army? Louis, we need to save JJ and Mikey's family before the army comes. Oh, you're right, Pip. Judging by the sun in the sky, we only have about 25 minutes before it turns night. And the monsters are going to be coming from that volcano. And worst of all, there's going to be sea monsters too. Sea monsters? Exactly, Pip. We need to start working on our base's stats. Let's go. Let's go. All right. I need to protect JJ's family from this massive volcano. But what should I start with? I'm going to build my underwater house out of things I can find on this mountain. Like, well, so we got sand, diorite, dirt, whatever. Oh, Pip, that's going to be terrible. You're using dirt underwater? You know it goes all soggy, right? Oh, Louie, dirt will be fine. Anyways, guys, I need to really start on this entrance right now. So let's build it just over here, out of the way of the volcano, so that if any lava spills down, it won't hit my entrance. Let's make this three blocks wide like this and have it go all the way down into the underground. I'm going to go down about this many blocks. That seems deep enough. Let me just go down on all of these sides like this. And we can just clear all of these blocks out of the way. This is going to be my entrance tunnel to get me inside the base. Oh, Pip, what are you doing here? Oh, uh, I was trying to copy your idea. Um, copy? I thought you were building your own survival base, not mine. Oh, Louie, it's still going to be better than yours. Um, I highly doubt that, Pip. I mean, you can see the out inside all you want and copy it, but it's on the inside that count. Obviously, I'll just copy your line. Louis, you didn't even say it right. It's what's on the inside that counts, not the outside. Uh, what? Uh, okay, uh, I, I don't care at this point. I need to keep working on this really super secure underwater base. So let me just build a massive hallway going out here and... Whoa, hey, look! I can see your window over there, Pip. Get your eyes off my base. I don't want you to copy my amazing idea. What? I'm not copying your idea at all. It's super insecure. As you can see, that volcano is facing directly towards your base. So if any big chunks of rock fall out of it, it'll hit that glass and smash it. Meaning all the water's gonna leak into your base, while mine will be left unscathed. Oh, Louis, this isn't any regular glass. This is volcano-proof glass. Volcano? Ain't no proof glass. Why do I highly doubt that, Pip? It just looks like regular glass to me. Oh, Louie, you wouldn't understand. You're not a volcano expert like me. Um, Pip, you're literally a duck. How do you know more about volcanoes? I wouldn't have expected that. Louie, volcanoes are really special to me because when I was younger, I fell in the volcano and my parents left me. What? Your parents left you? Well, I guess that's why I found you around that volcano when I was searching for some diamonds. That explains why I adopted you. But anyways, enough of adoption talk. What are you doing right now, Pip? It seems like you're working on a similar idea to me with my large glass window facing into the water. Since you're copying my idea, I think I'm just gonna copy yours as well. What? Oh, guys, we've got to make sure that our base is uncopyable. We have to make sure sure we put so many things inside that Pip has no chance of being able to copy it. Anyways, Pip, you're not allowed on the inside of my base because if you come in, you'll just copy all of my designs. Oh, Louie, I don't need your designs anyways. That's why I'm covering up my glass with iron bars so you can't see into my base. Wait, iron bars? You're using iron bars? I'm using iron block to reinforce this massive glass window that I have. This is almost like a submarine. I'm also going to go ahead and make a nice floor out of strict oak wood. This way, it's going to look a lot better than if I just used planks. As you can see, they're a little bit uglier compared to this. But one of my favorite things to do is make patterns with it. So if I rotate them every two blocks and just replace them with a different orientation, it makes this really cool checkered pattern on the floor. And there's no way that Pip would be able to copy this. Pip probably doesn't even know how blocks work. Oh, Louie, uh, I know how blocks work. I placed a piston down and I know pistons go in random directions. Uh, random directions? Uh, are you sure they don't go in the way that you're facing, Pip? 
That is the gist of it, after all. No, don't they go in random directions? No, Pip. I mean, I went to Redstone School and you did not, so I would be surprised if you even knew anything about it. Oh, Louie, farming school is better than Redstone School anyways. Farming school? What did you do there? Just farm seeds? That was probably really boring. No, I didn't farm seeds. I ate them. You ate seeds? Are you sure you didn't go to eating school? I'm surprised you're not really fat. No, Louis, uh, I'm not fat anymore. I'm actually on a diet. Y you're on a diet? Yeah. I would never have guessed. Well, what is your diet, Pip? I'm keeping my food full of nutrients. I'm eating worms. Worms? Oh, Yummy. no. Yummy. Since when did you turn into, like, a fish? I could probably catch you on a fishing rod if I wanted to. Louis, you can't catch me like a fish. I'm not as dumb as a fish. Um, well, I don't know about that, Pip. After all, your face is looking pretty newbie so far. Look at all that water leaking inside. No, well, no. Well, I've got all of this iron, all of this glass, and this beautiful checkered floor. And what have you got to show for it? Stop looking inside my base, Louis. Stop cheating. Um, okay. Well, I'll just keep working on mine then. Anyways, guys, now that Pip is working on the inside of that base, I can start working on these really cool iron walls. I'm going to make sure that this entire tunnel going all the way down is super secure and made out of iron like this. This is going to be the lower layer, and this lower layer is going to make sure that nothing gets through the roof. And speaking of roof, what do I want to make it out of? I want to make it out of slabs, but... I'm not sure what. Um, you know what, Pip? What are you making your roof out of? Maybe I can take some, uh, inspiration. Oh, Louie, you'd love to copy my roof, wouldn't you? Well, I'm making my roof out of stone and iron ore. Stone and iron ore? I mean, isn't the wall of this entire underwater area made out of stone? Wouldn't it just crumble? Crumble? No. D do you not know how gravity works, Louie? Really? Um, of course I do. I'm a scientist. I study gravity all the time. Well, Louie, if you're so smart, what is gravity? Um, gravity? Um, oh, guys, this is a difficult one. Um, gravity is a force that pulls you down. Basically, when something is really heavy, like the Earth, it lets out a big force, and it pulls you down into it. Just like if a really, really heavy object was in the middle of a trampoline, and you would fall into the middle of it. I guess that makes sense. Aha! I told you I was smart! Anyways, that still hasn't answered my question of what I want on the roof. I think I'll just go for these really cool stone brick slabs. This way, it's not just stone like in the roof. For activities, I can jump around like crazy. All I have to do is just finish off this roof like this. And here we go. The roof is now complete. Look how awesome this main room is looking. And I've also set up some areas for the next rooms. Like this is going to be our hallway to all of the rooms like my bedroom and the pool room and maybe the kitchen. Or maybe this area could be the kitchen. Let me just get started on this. I'm going to go ahead and make this floor for the kitchen area. And this is going to be a huge table that leads into the kitchen. So I'm going to go ahead and just empty out a, a big area of space for all of my cooking needs. This way, the volcano will erupt and it won't even touch me. At least if I get locked all the way under the water, I'll have enough food to last a lifetime and JJ's family will be safe. I'm now almost done clearing out this stone area and there we go. This seems like enough space for a kitchen or maybe a seating area. Now, all I have to do is get some stairs like this and position it so it looks like a table, like that. This is where all of the food would be served. And I think I'll get some chairs as well. I'll get some red chairs, and I'll get some yellow chairs, maybe for Pip, and some lime chairs, just in case I need Mikey's family down here. I'm going to set up these red chairs just like this, and this way I'll be- Wait, what was that? Guys, I swear I just saw Pip. Uh, let me just take a look over here and... What? There's nothing here! Oh, am I seeing things? What's going on? Oh, well, maybe it was nothing. 
I'll just keep building this kitchen now. So that'll be where the kitchen is. But now I need a hallway going in so that I can walk around this little table and get cooking. I'm going to build this foundation out of iron blocks to keep the walls strong and secure. And I'm also going to go ahead and make a massive reading wall. So let me get some of these bookcases from over here and I'll make these walls even bigger, full of books and all sorts of valuable information. This way, my family will not get bored, even if they're down here for a very long time. What is your favorite book, guys? Comment down below! My favorite book is How to Read 101. How to Read 101? Wait, Pip, how do you even read that book? If you can't read already, how do you read a book that teaches you how to read? And by just reading the book. Wait, uh, Pip, uh, is something wrong over in your side of your base? Because I'm getting a bunch of uh, chickens spawning in here. Oh, well, I, I did ask my family to come over later. They might have got the wrong address. You asked them to come over to my place? You can't just be throwing parties in my place all the time, you know. No, no, I think it was the wrong address. Oh. Uh, 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 that's... I don't know what you're talking about, Louie. Guys, I think something is up. Pip was in my base. They didn't just fly over the top of the water and come down the right way. They mined through the wall, which means they've been spying on me. Louie, what are you talking about? I'm literally at my base right now. Look. You, uh, well, I just saw you over there placing blocks. Unless you've got a tunnel of some sort. I I'm not sure what you're talking about, Louie. Oh, listen up, Pip. You stay over there. Don't come over here unless I tell you you can, okay? I don't even want to come to your duck-infested base anyways. Oh, wait. Well, you just did, so... Oh, you know what? I can't with you sometimes, Pip. Oh, I can't with you sometimes either, Louie. I'm gonna get back to building, because building's what I've been doing the entire time. Oh, yeah. Well, you better get back to building. That volcano is going to erupt any second. And that just reminds me, after I'm done with this kitchen, I'm going to have to start working on this entrance area so no ash or smoke comes down and suffocates JJ's family. So what I'm going to do is place down this kitchen tile inside of my kitchen. This way, I can finally start work on the inside here. I'm going to go ahead and get some of these really cool tile blocks just like this. This will look just like a kitchen. This is called ceramic tile. And basically, it makes sure that the area is nice and clean. And it's also waterproof. Wait, Louie, why are you making your kitchen waterproof? Well, that's just to keep out any mold. And, you know, also really bad things like bacteria or viruses. That means that JJ's family is going to be extremely safe, even if we have to stay down here a very long time. Oh, Louie, I would never make my kitchen waterproof. It would just be too clean. Yeah, it would be for you, Pip. You're always so unclean! Anyways, I need to work on the roof of my kitchen. So I'm going to go ahead and just build out a small section like this. And then I'm going to fill it in with these brick slabs just like this. It makes it look really rustic and really cool. I would live here if I could. It makes me feel just at home. But now I need to put what goes in a kitchen inside of my kitchen. So I'm going to get a furnace and a few blast furnaces too. I'm going to put them down on the sides like this and move out of the way, chicken. Then I'm also going to get some of these ovens. This will look really cool inside of my kitchen. So I'll be able to make things like steaks and chicken rolls. What is your favorite food, guys? Let me know in the comments. Now, all I have to do is add these cut sandstone slabs to work as a work area. Then I can put these kitchen sinks in so that I can wash my hands after I'm done. This kitchen is really coming along nicely. I'll also make sure to decorate it so it looks really nice. I'll put a little flower pot in the corner there. I think I'll put a painting in the middle like that. That one looks way better. It kind of looks like Donkey Kong. And I'll put another one right here above the kitchen sink. It seems like I can't get very good pictures. You know what? I'll go with these. Here we have Shaggy in his Ultra Instinct form. And we also have this Christmas-themed Minecraft painting. It's not Christmas anymore, but I still feel very festive. Hey, Louie, I'm already working on my traps. I added two dispensers that can shoot the zombies when they come down here. 
See, just look. Uh, wait a second, Pip. Wait a second. Stop doing that. That's fire charges at my window. Oh, what? A... I was just showing oh, you. I really hope it doesn't crack the glass and... Oh, I think I'm safe, but... That just gives me an idea, Pip. You've just potentially saved JJ's family. Instead of using regular glass, I should use reinforced glass. Wait, let's see if fire chargers can crack the glass. Oh, no, no, no. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> oh, guys, I've got to go across this top section here and reinforce the sides of my glass so it holds together. There we go. Now I've got glass on the right and the left. It'll hold onto the foundation around it. But maybe just to be safe, I should put them around the sides like this, too. This way, it holds onto my foundation across the entire of the wall. And Pip's pesky fire charges can't break it. It might also keep me safe from the volcano when it erupts. But anyways, guys, that gives me another crazy idea. And that is that I have to reinforce this drop chute. I'm going to go ahead and take all of this area here. And I'm going to convert this into a glass wall. So that I can build some rooms behind it later on. But now what I need to do is reinforce this area up top. I'm going to get some obsidian like this. And I'm going to go ahead and fill in these walls just like this. As you guys know, obsidian is a really strong building block. It's also really durable too. It can withstand TNT explosions. So I'm very sure it can withstand a volcano too. Oh, Louie, I would never use obsidian. Uh, wait, you would never use obsidian? Why, Pip? It's really strong. Not as strong as dirt. Oh, no. I mean, I guess you're right in the fact that obsidian comes from the earth just like dirt. But, but dirt just isn't as strong. It never will be. Just you wait till I survive the giant zombie army that's coming. Then you'll say that dirt is the best block in Minecraft. Uh-huh. Well, we'll see about that, Pip. But anyways, I really want to build this base to make it look really modern. So instead of using this iron, I'm going to build around it using this white concrete and this red concrete. This way, I can make this base look like a really cool modern base. And it'll also remind me of myself because red is the best color in the world. So if I build up like this out of red and I build around just like this, I can make a really cool modern looking texture like that. Hopefully the volcano doesn't scuff it up too bad, but I'm pretty sure JJ's family will be very appreciative when they see these red details. I'm also going to make it go around the window too, so it looks really cool. Let me just finish it off just like this. I'll go ahead and make this double as thick, just like the one on the right side. Now, I'm going to use this white concrete to give it the final modern look. Then, as a really cool pattern, every single time it goes up two blocks, I'll put this really cool black concrete over the top and around this entire section of this water base. As you can see, if I turn around and look at Pips, it's just horrible. It's hanging out of the wall. It's got iron bars on it. It's... The glass is barely holding together, but if you turn around, it's so much cooler looking. Oh, Louie, my entrance is way better than yours. See, look, I'm using camouflage dirt, and I'm even putting signs around just in case people think this is my base. I put signs that say, not Pip's base. Camouflaged dirt? What do you mean? Like ghost blocks? Yeah, look, it's camouflaged. Zombies won't be able to see it, and even if they do see it, they can just read the sign that says this is not Pip's base. I mean, I have to admit, you kind of got me there. I thought it was ghost blocks, but it turns out to just be an entrance from the side. Maybe you're not as much of a noob as I thought. Yep, and you probably thought this was my base, but nope, read the sign. Uh, it says not Pip's base, yep. but clearly, Pip, if I go down inside, <laughs> your base is right here, and... There's nothing inside. If you went inside of my base, you would know exactly what to build in here. But I think I'm going to leave the inside of your base to you. No, come down here, Louie. There is stuff in my base. You just went on the wrong floor. Wait, seriously? Let yeah. me come down here and see. And what is this? See, come in here. This is the pooper room. And this is my favorite room. See, look at this mirror. Like, who's this? Hello there. Duck in the mirror. Oh, um, well, I'll just leave you to do whatever that is. I'm going to look around your base now. Uh, uh, you stay in there and admire yourself. Oh, you don't want to join, Louis? No, I don't want to join that at all. 
guy's bib is so weird. It seems like you've got a pretty nice bedroom going on in here. It's just a shame that anyone who's in this room won't be able to see out of this really cool window. Well, at least the zombies can't see it in either. I mean, that's a good point. Yeah. But that's why I'm adding all of that really cool stuff to the front of my base. The reinforced glass means that the zombies wouldn't even be able to break in, even if they tried. Well, I bet your base isn't camouflaged like mine, Louis. The zombies can see your base so easily. Well, Pip, that's the thing. Since this volcano will also be erupting, we need to choose what to defend our base best from. Do we want to defend it from the explosions of the volcano? Or do we want to defend it from the <laughs> I'm doing a bit of both. Louis, how powerful is this volcano? The thing is, Pip, we don't know how powerful it is. When the sun goes down, it'll erupt. And it could be really weak like a little fart. Or it could be huge like a nuclear explosion. Or like my farts. Uh, I didn't need to know that, Pip, but... Anyways, let's keep securing our base. We need to make sure that JJ's family is going to be safe, regardless of the strength of that explosion. I'm just building up this really cool modern look onto my base. I'll just quickly finish off this wall right here, and I'll add another layer of black concrete on the top. And there we go. That is looking awesome. But I think I am missing something, and that is some lighting. I'm going to put some lights just underwater like this, going up and following this red stripe. There we go. Now, I'll put some more lights in the middle too, just so it looks a little bit brighter and cooler. But that just reminds me, guys, I got sidetracked. I still need to work on this extremely secure entrance. So, I'm going to get a trap door. Which one do I want? There's some iron ones, some glass ones. That would be way too weak. Maybe this spruce glass one. It has a bit more wood on it. No, that wouldn't be good enough. What I'm going to do is get this iron trap door and this key panel. And I'll cover it like this so I can see the inside of my base. Then I'll put this iron trap door on the top and this keypad. Now, if I put a code in, which will be one, two, three, four, and then re-put the code in, it should open the trap door and let me jump into my base. Now what I need is a nice little area where we can land so we don't break our legs. I'm going to put some water at the bottom. As you know, a water bucket clutch is the strongest way to survive fall damage in the game. But now I need a way to get out. So I think what I'll do is I'll just add a really long ladder coming all the way down. This way, if I ever need to escape, I can just climb my ladder and get out. But now we're back inside of my base. I think it's time to work on some more things. So I'm going to go ahead and go around this area here and start working on some really cool rooms around the back. I think I'm going to put a bedroom behind this ladder right here on the entrance of my base. This way I can secure JJ's family instantly. They are going to be extremely happy when they realize that they can escape whenever they need. I'm going to make sure that this bedroom is extremely large with beds for everyone and also a few other amenities like maybe a coffee table, a coffee machine, uh, maybe a hot chocolate dispenser. I really like those. So I'm going to go ahead and just make the frame for the bedroom. This other area right here is going to be the hallway. And I'm going to go ahead and fill this hallway ground in with stone bricks like this. This way, it'll always stay clean and it looks really nice. But now I have to work on this room. I'll make it a few blocks longer like this and a few blocks wider. I'll also complete these little beams like this so that it looks more finished. After all, we can't let JJ's family stay in a dump. They would be really ungrateful of that. And hey, look, there's the kitchen. All right, this is where I'm going to start on my wall. I'm going to do the same pattern as the kitchen, but just push it out by one more layer, just so that the wall of the kitchen doesn't come into the bedrooms. I'm going to add these corner blocks in the side, just like this. This way, it has a lot more strength and can hold up the stone above it. But hmm, what block should I use for the walls of these bedrooms? Uh, Pip, do you have any ideas? Uh, what do you want this time, Louis? I need some block ideas to use for the wall of my bedrooms. Louis, I tell you every single time that dirt is a block that you should be using. Oh, Pip, I think it already looks better with this stone in. I don't think I should use dirt. Do you have any better block suggestions? Well, Louis, if you want something really good, 
good. I guess he could use gravel. Oh, of course you would suggest that, Pip. As you know, if an explosion happens, it launches the gravel everywhere. It would be a terrible idea as a wall. You know what, Pip? You're no help at all. I'm going to build this all by myself. And I think I've got the perfect idea. And what would that be, Louie? Well, as you can see, guys, in my inventory right now, I have some bricks. I'm going to make this seem like an old English house or some kind of Victorian living space. Uh, as you guys know, I, I'm pretty sure JJ is a big fan of British culture. So I'm going to make sure that this entire bedroom is perfect just for him and his family. I'm going to add some windows too so you can see in and out if the family is in danger and... Just for added security, I'm going to use this keypad door. Once again, the password is 1234. Don't tell anyone, guys. But now I need a block to use as the floor. And since nothing is going to get in here, I can use wool. This way, it's extremely comfortable to walk on. And I'm pretty sure JJ is going to be extremely happy to see this wool in here. As for the roof, I'm going to use red concrete instead. Because as you know, using wool for the roof would be a terrible idea. So I'm going to go ahead and use this red concrete just to secure the roof, just like this stone right here I'm replacing. But now I need to go ahead and add some lighting because they would hate it if they couldn't see in here. So I'll add a light in the middle of the room like this. I think I'll make Mikey's bedroom too because knowing Pip, their base is going to be terrible and Mikey is going to want to come here to stay in my build. All I have to do is just add three beds like this one for JJ's mom, one for JJ, this massive one here, and one for JJ's brother. It's going to be amazing. Now, I'm just going to decorate this room because no one wants to be in a bedroom with nothing inside. I'm going to add these really cool tables like this. And I'm going to use these flower pots to make them look like mugs of coffee. That way, they can wake up to a nice, refreshing mug of coffee. But now, I need a dressing area for JJ's mom. So I'm going to go ahead and use these tables as the dresser area and this tall mirror so that she can look in the mirror at her beautiful face. All that's left is another flower pot. And this could be seen as a container to hold all of JJ's mom's makeup. Anyways, here we go. Let's just get out of this room. And boom. Doesn't that look amazing, guys? Other than the ducks running around, it looks awesome. Now what we have is a nice big kitchen with um, a duck inside. Wait, Pip, what are you doing in my base again? No, no. Uh, this time I'm following you. This time I'm following you. Where no, is no, this no, coming no. from? Show me. Show me. I'm going to see exactly where this tunnel is leading to. And I'm going to figure this out once and for all. Wait a second. This tunnel comes all the way from Pip's entrance. That means if Pip gets in trouble, they can just run down my tunnel and use my base as safety. Oh, Pip, why would you do this? I thought your base was secure enough, right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I wasn't trying to spy on you or anything. It was just, you know, as a safety measure, just in case JJ's family needs to come to my base. I really doubt that, Pip. I've made my base so secure, and yours is just looking really newbie right now. Oh, yeah, Louie. Well, when the mobs attack, you'll see that I'm the pro. And I'm just a noob in disguise. A noob in disguise. Yep. Okay, well, I'll believe that once your base is better than mine. All right, well, good luck, Louie. You're gonna need it. Uh, wait, that sounds awfully suspicious. Guys, I have no trouble believing that Pip is a noob, but a noob in disguise? There's no way that Pip is a pro disguised as a noob. That's ridiculous. Anyways, let me get all of this area in my kitchen filled up again. And also add my big painting in the middle. This might take a few placements, but there we go. Back to normal. But now that I think about it, what is a kitchen with no food to cook? I need to build a massive freezer on the inside here. This is where all of the food is going to be stored. I'm going to make a really big room inside of here. I'll also make it really tall because I know I'm going to have massive piles of food in here. I'm going to use the same blocks as I used in the kitchen floor, just like this. This is so that when the floor gets slippy, I don't slip over. Now, I just need to get some icy blocks like this. And I'll go ahead and get some powdered snow. And there we go. Now, all I have to do is build up this wall right here as the freezer door. 
and I definitely don't want to get my books soggy. So I think I'm going to replace this wall with iron, like this. Now it's time to make this freezer look really cold. So I'm going to use really cold blocks, like this ice pillar, packed ice, polished packed ice, and just regular packed ice. I might put some snow in here as well, just to bring the temperature down. All right, so now it's time for me to add all of my ice inside of this area. Doesn't this look so chilly, guys? <laughs> I can feel it already. Let's just fill in the floor as well, because some of the ice is going to be leaking out of the freezer. It's that cold. And I'm also going to go ahead and get some of these iron fans. As you guys know, if you have fans blowing onto your ice, it keeps it all nice and cold. And it doesn't melt. This means we are going to have ice cubes for years. But what else could I put in this freezer? Wait, I've got an idea. Let me get a chest like this, and also some food. What food should I store in my underwater base? Let's just put some chests down first, and then we'll think about it. We need to make sure we keep all of the foods that we like. So I'm going to put a bunch of steak in this chest. That's for me. But now we need our perishable foods, like eggs. This is so that I can have fried eggs in the morning. Wait, Louis, did you just say fried eggs? Um, yes, Pip. What's wrong with that? I really like fried eggs. Oh my gosh. Did you know that ducks lay eggs too? Oh, wait a second. Oh, guys, this is really embarrassing. Pip is a duck and ducks lay eggs. Maybe I shouldn't have said that out loud. It's fine, Louie. I know how you think of us ducks now anyways. What? Uh, no, no, Pip, it's not like that, I swear. I'll get you back for that, Louie. Oh, guys, this is really bad. Uh, anyways, let's just keep building. So we've got our perishable foods like eggs, but I'm going to also put a ton of sugar in this chest. This is so that I can bake chocolate bars and all sorts of crazy candies. But now I need something for my final chest. And I think what I will do is put some golden apples inside. This is so that when the mobs attack, I can fend them off with enough health. Anyways, guys, what I think I'm going to do is just quickly get rid of these chickens. They're really getting on my nerves. Now let me just get rid of this guy in the kitchen and let's keep building my base. I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is build off of this hallway here. Oh, there's more chickens in here too. Let me just get rid of you and you and you can't escape me. I have a passcode, die. But now that I've done that, it's time for me to start working on the other rooms inside of my base. I'm going to structure them the same way. So I'm going to build a massive iron wall like this just to secure my hallway. And then I'll go ahead and build one room on the other side to the bedroom. This room is going to be for the enjoyment of the families. That means I'm going to build a massive swimming pool on the inside. If I just clear out a big enough space, I can build a really crazy looking swimming pool. This means that JJ and Mikey's family would never want to leave. Meaning one, my base is going to be secure from that volcano explosion. Two, my base is going to be extremely secure from the mobs that are attacking later tonight. And three, it would be the most comfortable base they've ever stayed in in their lives. They might just decide they want to stay here forever. And then I can take care of JJ and Mikey's families for as long as they need. But anyways, what does a swimming pool need? I think a swimming pool usually has tiles, right? Going around the outside. So I'm going to build a nice tile walkway all the way around the outside, just so that if anybody tries to go around anywhere, they won't slip over. And now, I just need to make a nice deep swimming pool. So I'm going to go ahead and make it two blocks deep, just so that nobody can drown inside. I'll just fill out these gaps just like this, fill in the water on, on all of the sides, come on, and there we go. Now I just need to fill it up from this area here. And once the water stabilizes out, it should be ready to go. There we go. And you know, just to make this look like a real swimming pool, I'm going to add these quartz blocks on the inside like this to make it look really smooth and really cool. I'll also go ahead and put it on the bottom too. We can't be having anyone scraping their feet on these rocks. It would be really dangerous. Now, I'm going to add these mosaic tiles to the walls. 
As you can see, they're also kind of 3D, so it makes this base look really pro compared to Pip's. Pip would never think of using these three-dimensional blocks. I'm going to place them all around the walls, and maybe for the roof of this place, I think I'm going to do something different. Once I finish placing these tiles, I can start thinking of a roof idea. Hmm, what blocks could I use? Maybe I could go with wood, but wood gets really easily moldy, and it would make people sick inside of my underwater base. While I'm thinking of the block idea, I think I'll go ahead and just add my door to the swimming pool. I'm gonna make it out of glass, so that it's very easy to walk inside and see what's going on, just in case anybody is drowning. Hmm, I still have no idea what to use for the roof. Maybe I should just use bricks like I did in JJ's room. I'll do this and then build it across. This looks pretty good in my opinion. Now all that's left is a diving board. This means I can jump off of it into the water. It'll be super cool and it'll keep JJ and Mikey's family entertained. Hey, Louie. C come to your glass. Come to my glass? All right, Pip, I'm on my way. What do you want? I did something really cool. Go to your kitchen, but... Go but to still my... Keep, keep looking at me. Keep looking at me. Go to your uh, kitchen. Okay, I'll go to my kitchen very, very slowly. All right, what okay. do you want, Pip? Okay. I'm in Louis. the kitchen now. Louie, look at me. So, do you see this lever in front of me? Um, I do, Pip. Look what this does! Wait, um, nothing's happening, Pip. Uh, are you sure you're okay? Uh, just, just turn around, Louie. What do you see? Um, turn around? W what? No, 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 no! There's tons <laughs> of ducks in my base! Pip, what are you doing? It's the duck lever! Oh, the duck lever. I don't want ducks inside of my base! This is supposed to be a clean place for JJ's family, not a duck fest! Oh, get rid of that thing! That's right. what you get for killing my family. Oh, I'll do it again, Pip. I will do it again. No, stop. You know what? I'm going to get a mob killer this time. This instantly kills any mob and leaves no trace. Die! You're so mean, Louie. Well, that's what you get for adding a duck lever to my base. Oh, I'm going to have to chase these things around all day now. At least I didn't kill your family, Louie. Well, I would hope you wouldn't do that, Pip, but I did what had to be done. Anyways, guys, I just realized a fatal flaw in my base. As you can see, my freezer is wide open. It's going to make this place really, really chilly. So what I'm going to do is add some doors just like this. As you can see, I now have some iron doors that are covered like this. These will trap the cold inside. And just in case I need to get in and out of my freezer, I'll have some pressure plates just like that. I guess we've got some fresh chicken prepared for tonight. But anyways, guys, it's time to get back to building. So I just made all of this area. I think I'm going to build my hallway's roof out of iron blocks like this. Now it's looking really secure, but maybe I could make one or two more rooms. Wait, guys, I have a really good idea. If I go into my creative menu and search ice crystal, this is a really cool modded weapon. As you can see, there is just water here, right? But if any mobs try to attack me under the water, I'll do this and turn them into ice. It's really powerful, and it also freezes mobs. It's crazy, but that gives me a perfect idea. I need to work on an armory room so that I never run out of gear to use against those mobs. Let's just dig out an empty space behind this hallway right here. And I'm going to put some iron doors on the inside here. This will be quite similar to the design of the freezer. But when I step on these pressure plates, it'll open up like this. I can walk inside and it'll open up to a massive room on the inside with lava and all sorts of crazy weaponry. I'm just going to dig out some more space just like this. And that reminds me, I haven't asked Pip if they have an armory room yet. So, Pip, do yeah, you Louis? have an armory room in your base? Of course, Louie. I have the biggest armory room in the world. Okay, and what kinds of crazy armor have you got in there? I'm really excited to hear. Oh my gosh, Louie. I got this armor from the nether. I can't wait to use it. Wait, are you talking about netherite armor? I thought I'd never see the day you use it. 
Oh, yeah, I can't wait to use it against these zombies. All right, well, I can't wait to see you using it. Uh, this is crazy, guys. Pip never uses netherite armor. It's usually just leather armor. Well, Louis, that's the thing. I think my netherite armor is slightly messed up because it's kind of itchy. Netherite armor? Itchy? It, it's never itchy. Uh, are you sure you're wearing the right armor? Yeah, yeah, I mean, surely it has to be the right armor, right? I don't know. I think I'll come over and take a look. Just give me a moment to finish off my armory room. Okay, Louis, I'll see you then. Okay. All right, guys, so now I'm going to go ahead and finish off this armory room. I'm starting off with these wooden foundations, meaning that the walls cannot cave in from above. I'm going to do the same pattern across the entire top section of my base. I'm going to get some of this polished andesite. As you know, it looks kind of bad on its own, but if I use different types of stone for this, it'll look really cool. I'll put some andesite on the ground like that on both sides over here. Then I'll use furnaces to make this really cool floor design. As you can see, it kind of looks like cobblestone, but way cooler. It has this really awesome looking black outline on the outside. Now all that's left is to add the walls. And for this, I think I could get away with just using spruce planks, because JJ's family isn't going to be coming inside of this room, meaning it doesn't have to look incredible. I think one side I'll have as wood, and one side I'll have as bricks. This is so that all of the really dangerous items can come over here, and all of the weaker items like foods and stuff like that I'll be using can go over there. Let's just go ahead and finish off these walls and this roof. Then I can start on adding armor and weapons to this armory room. Here we go, we're almost done, and there we go. This armory room is looking awesome on the inside right now. All that's left is to get some armor stands. I'll also get some netherite armor too. And let's not forget the netherite sword. Now, I'll just go ahead and get some chests too, so I can fill them up with really cool loot. I'll have one chest full of netherite swords. I'm also going to have a chest full of these ice crystals too, so I can freeze the water mobs. As you know, ice is powerful against water. Now, I'll add these armor stands down. One for everyone. The one for me, one for JJ, one for JJ's mom, and one for JJ's little brother. Wait, did I just hear a door open in my base? What's going on? Um, hello? Is, is somebody here? Wait, what is that? Wait, guys, I swear I just saw invisibility particles. And maybe something going on. Let me just look over here, and it seems like there's nothing here, but wait a second. I didn't place that camera. What's going on? I guess it's not important. I'll just put this brick right here in the roof, and I guess it works as extra security. Let's keep working on my next room. I'm going to go ahead and get some of these really cool weapons, like these Tide Tridents. They work really well in the water, and they're also what drowns use. As you know, drowns are underwater zombies that can throw tridents at people. It's kind of crazy. Now, I'm going to go ahead and give myself a bow and some arrows too. This way, I'll be able to shoot at some mobs just in case that volcano explosion isn't too strong. But now, I need to do something on the opposite side of the room. And I think I know just what. I'm going to add this little wooden area here, and I'm going to get some brewing stands. This is where I'm going to be brewing my potions. I'll also go ahead and get some chests too, to store some potions in. Now what potions would be good against underwater mobs? Let's take a look here. Definitely strength, we'll take that. Maybe some weakness potions too, so we can throw them on the mobs. Wait a second, I just found one called Sea Vision. Let's use that one too. I'll be able to see under the water. And I'm definitely going to need this potion of water breathing. This is so that I don't start drowning when I jump into the water. Let's put all of these potions inside of these chests, just ready for me to use whenever I'm ready. This is going to be a really intense fight, guys. You gotta watch until the end to see if our bases can survive. And if you're enjoying the video so far, make sure to subscribe. But anyways, let's take a look at this entire base so far. We have our main hallway with our books, and wait, it seems like these cameras are just coming out of nowhere. Maybe I can find out what's happening. You know what? I think I'm going to go ask Pip what's going on with this thing. Let me just get out. No, Louie, that's not necessary. Just ignore those cameras. Oh, what do you mean that's not necessary? Oh. I'm pretty sure I didn't place them, so only you could have. Wait, 
What's that in your hand, Pip? Oh, it's just some some milk. I, I really like drinking Girl, milk. Oh, Pip, if you don't give me that camera monitor right now, I will hit you with this mob killer. Okay, here you go, man. Here you go. That's that's milk. What about the other thing in your hand? Oh, the other thing in my hand? No, I don't mean the seeds. That big TV screen you were holding. Oh, the big TV? Not that! If you give me that camera monitor, or I ruin your entire base right now. Fine, Luigi. Take it. Just leave my base alone. Thank you very much. Guys, what is this? A camera monitor. It seems like Pip has been using this with the cameras inside of my base. Let's take a look inside of this thing and see what Pip can see. Camera number one. Hey, look, there I am. It seems like Pip has been spying on the inside of my base. But wait a second, what about camera number two? That seems to be inside of my kitchen. Why would Pip want to see the inside of my kitchen? Unless it's to check that I'm not there to throw chickens on my head. Oh, that's so annoying. But where's camera number three? That seems to be inside of my freezer. Seems like Pip is keeping a close eye on that duck inside. That seems to be all of them on the camera monitor unless... Wait, there's a fourth option. Let me just see what's in here and... Wait a second. Oh no, it's Pip kissing himself in the mirror. Ew. Hey. Wait, oh no, Pip saw me. Pip saw me. Oh. Oh, no, Pip just broke the camera. That felt wrong, guys. I felt like I was intruding on something. Oh, but whatever. Let's get these cameras out of my base right now. I cannot be having cameras inside of my base. The more cameras that are in here, the less safe JJ's family is going to feel. All right, guys, so now my entire base seems to be complete. I have my bedroom, the swimming pool. I have my armory, my kitchen, my freezer, and all of my books so that I can read. Let's see what's going on outside of my base. And it seems like JJ's doing just fine, but that volcano seems to be getting more active. And wait a second, it seems like it just got a lot darker. Oh no, the sun is setting, Pip. We need to secure our bases quick before the mobs come. All right, Louie, I'm starting on my defenses now. We need to get Mikey and JJ's family inside now. All right, let's do it, Pip. Come on, JJ, we have to get inside right now. And there we go, guys. We finally got JJ and his entire family inside of my underwater secret base. Hopefully, this is going to be secure enough to protect us from that volcano explosion and defend us from those mobs. How is your family coming along, Pip? Are they doing okay? Yep, yeah, Mikey's family is safe and sound. Let's do our last-minute preparations before the time comes that the mobs attack. I need to do just one more thing before the mobs come. And also, before that explosion happens, I need to go ahead and build a massive brick wall. This will stop any lava from spilling over the sides and into my hatch. Then, I'm going to build a brick wall on the other side as well. This will keep it secured from both sides. And now, what I'm going to go ahead and do to protect it from any falling debris is cover the top in reinforced glass. Let's just quickly fill in this empty space like this. And now, JJ's family is protected from above and the sides, and also underwater. Oh, wait a second, Pip. What's that noise? It sounds like something just erupted. We, the volcano's erupting. No, no, no. This is the worst time for this to happen. Oh, look at all of the lava coming down the hill. And, oh no. Oh my gosh. Look at all those water mobs. We need to get inside of our base and get ready before we switch to survival mode. Quick! Let's just get down inside and... Oh no, Pip, this is really bad. I'm in survival mode right now. Quick, we have to go ahead and get all of our weapons. I'm going to put my netherite armor on. So are you, Pip, right? Yeah, I'm putting my netherite armor on right now. Let's hope you really do this time. All right, guys, I'm going to get my netherite sword, my tridents, and all of my weapons ready. I'm going to put my bow in one of my hands so that I can shoot even when I'm using my other weapons. All right, let's get out there and start fighting. Don't worry, JJ. You're going to be just fine with me. Oh, no, guys. This looks really scary. Look at all of those mobs in the water. They're fighting each other, and some of them are definitely trying to get in. Look, they're flipping their tails through my windows. Get out! It looks like I'm going to have to get ready to battle some mobs. So I'm going to get some potions right now. Let's get myself some sea vision some water breathing, and some strength. Let's go ahead and drink all of these potions. First, the strength potion, like this. 
Then, the water breathing potion. Let's drink it up. This should allow me to see under the water. And I'll also keep this weakness potion just in case I need to attack. Let's get out there right now and start fighting. Pip, are you okay out there? Louis, these sharks are so strong. What are we gonna do? All right, Pip. What I'm going to do is throw a splash potion of weakness on top of those mobs. Just so they are a little weaker Wait, in case they hit how are you me. Doing that, and Louis? now watch this. I'm going to walk on water! I'm using this ice crystal. It's a very cool modded weapon. I can use it to uh, freeze you too! Bow! I'm freeze you, I froze Louis. you. Can I have one of those? Oh, I guess I'll let you try it just this once. Come on. Let me try to use it. Let me use it. Come on, let me just equip it and go! Get in there, Pip! Attack! Wait, no, the sharks oh. hit me! The sharks hit me! I don't think I did oh, it no. right. Uh, swim! Swim away! Swim away! Ah! Oh, wait, I'm freezing the water! Run! 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 Get out of let's here! Let's go! Let's Pip. go! Pip, we need to get inside of your base. I want to see how Mikey's family is doing. Oh my gosh, I ran out of charge! Run! Ah! Oh no. There's just so many sharks in the water. What are we going to do? Let's just go inside of your base. Then we can make a plan. Okay, Pip. Where are you? I'm inside one of your games rooms, it seems. I'm right, right. here, Louie. Okay. All right. Well, it seems like those sharks really want to eat us. What do we do? Maybe we should fight them, Louie. Maybe we shouldn't. I'm kind of scared of sharks. Yeah, me too. Listen, I've got a good idea. Maybe if I open up a little hole in the wall, they'll smell our blood in the water. And we can just hit them through this little gap right here and ow. Okay. No, I'm not going to do that. They're really dangerous. I'm shooting them with my bow and arrow. I don't think this is working. I don't know if your base is going to be secure enough to protect us against these sharks. No, Louis, my base is super secure. I promise. Uh, are you sure about that, Pip? Yes. There's nothing in your chest. There's glass and water behind them as well, so the sharks can get in through the tiny gaps. All right, Pip, enough of this base. Come to my base. I want to show you how much better it is. Follow me. All right, but first, I'm going to need you to clear a path. Get that ice crystal and make a path across the water. Let's go. Oh, no, no, you no. You have to look at the water, Pip. Come back. That was really close. Louis, just follow me. I'm coming, Pip. Let's go, 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 go. Hurry, hurry. I'm getting eaten here. Those sharks are taking big chunks out of me. It really hurts. Oh, I barely survived the path across. All right, but anyways, Pip, now we're here. Let's go inside of my base. Ow, those sharks really don't like me. But, Pip, to get inside, you need to put in the secret passcode. Um... What's the secret passcode? Uh, maybe you should guess, because I'm pretty sure you know my passcodes already. Guess? Louie, we don't have time for guessing games. JJ's family's in danger. Oh, yeah, I guess that's true. But Mikey's family is in way more danger than JJ's. Look at the inside of my base. Look how secure it is. Look how secure the inside of my base is. I've also got shockproof glass. I've also got a really nice kitchen where you can cook all the food you would like. And a freezer! Oh yeah, I saw this kitchen on my security camera earlier. I saw you kissing your reflection in the mirror too. You need a girlfriend, Pip. You weren't supposed to see that, Louie. <laughs> okay, well, uh, enough of that. These sharks are getting crazy. Look at all of the drowns outside. I think Mikey's family might be in danger in that base. Wait, Louie, what happens if I break this glass? Um, the sharks are going to come in, and they're going to eat us, so please don't do that. Well, I guess you're right, Louie. Yeah, you are right, Pip, but listen up. I think we need to get Mikey's family over here. Over there, they're just not safe. What do you think? We can use the underground tunnel. That's a really good idea. We can move them from your base to mine, using the underground tunnel you built. All the way to my base for some reason. <laughs> I guess it came in handy at the end of the day. Okay, follow me. We are going to get you suited up for battle. All right, Pip. Now you've taken your leather armor off. Get that netherite armor on. Okay, I've got it on. We are going to be extremely strong and 
get that wooden sword out of your hand, go into this chest, and get a netherite one. And while I'm at it, I'm going to get myself another ice crystal, so I'm ready to freeze anything. All right, Pip, follow me. We are going to use that secret tunnel to go to your base, move Mikey's family across, and then they should be secure here until the sun rises again. Let's do it. All right, Pip. Do you have any blocks by any chance? We need to get up there right now. Um, climb on my shoulder, Louie. Climb on my shoulder. I'll, I'll lift you up there. Uh, uh, that's not possible in Minecraft, Pip. Uh, oh. Well, you know what we can do? I guess we can take a little bit of a chunk out of this wall to get some planks so we can climb up. Let's just make a hole in the roof so we can get to our tunnel. All right, there we go. All right, Pip, follow me. On it. All right, Pip, come on. We need to get through this secret tunnel and end up with Mikey's family. Let's just really, really quickly run for it. All right, Pip, where did you put Mikey's family in this base? I keep forgetting. In the oh, bedroom. Here they are. All right, Mikey, we have to go right now. JJ is waiting for you inside of my super secure base. Oh, don't turn your head at me. Oh, Pip, you need to convince them to come to my base. It's way more secure. Come on, Mikey. We need to leave now. Uh, what? Pip, uh, what does that have to your voice? Uh, you know what? I'm not even going to question it. Don't worry Let's about get it. to my base. And there we go, Pip. We've managed to save JJ and Mikey's family, putting them both in this extremely secure base in Minecraft. Yes, this is awesome, Louie. Now that Mikey and JJ's family is safe, we can relax in your pool. Woohoo! Come on, let's use the diving board! I'm going in! Cannonball!